We're at 7.3b, and this is proofs with similar triangles. We're going to write a two-column proof with similar triangles. And the first thing we see is the given that A is the midpoint of BC, and D is the midpoint of BE. We need to prove that triangle BDA, this little one, is similar to triangle BEC, the large one. So here's our two-column proof. We've got our given as number one, that A is the midpoint of BC and D is the midpoint of BE. Number two, we say that BA here is congruent to AC and BD is congruent to DE because that's the definition of a midpoint. If that's the midpoint, then this side's equal to this side, right? So now we have BA is equal to AC and BD is equal to DE because the definition of congruent segments, if they're congruent, they're equal. So BC, for number 4, this entire length, is equal to BA plus AC. And BE is equal to BD plus DE. That's the segment addition postulate. Number 5, we saw and had up here at number 3 that BA is equal to AC. So if we're adding those two together and they're equal to each other, we can just say BA plus BA for that. And for BE, we could just say BD plus BD because these are equal to each other. That's the substitution property. And that brings us to number six. If we're adding two of them together, we can say BC is equal to 2BA and BE is equal to 2BD. Then we can say BC over BA, BC over BA is equal to 2. And BE over BD is equal to 2. That's the division property of equality. Well, they're both equal to 2, so we can say they're both equal to each other. BC over BA is equal to BC over BD. That's the transitive property of equality. And angle B is congruent to angle B. The angle B for this little triangle is congruent to the angle B for the bigger triangle. That's the reflexive property of congruence, which brings us to number 10, that BD, triangle BDA is similar to triangle BEC because of SAS. From steps 8 and 9, we have a side an angle and a side, okay? Now, I hope you can see this. Take a look at this picture here. We've got AC right here, this 24 feet, is parallel to FG, the 6.5 feet, see? And we're gonna try to find this right here, BF, okay? So the photo shows a gable roof and AC is parallel to FG. We can use similar triangles to prove triangle ABC is similar to triangle FBG and then find BF to the nearest tenth of a foot. So the first thing we do is prove the triangles are similar. Segment AC is parallel to segment FG, that's given. Angle BFG, this little one right here by the six, is congruent to BAC, this big one down here, because of the corresponding angles theorem. And angle B is congruent to angle B. So the angle B for the little triangle is congruent to the angle B for the bigger triangle. That's the reflexive property of congruence. Therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle FBG. Now that we've proven that they're similar, now we can find BF, this X, okay? So we could put BA, BA, so this whole side length, over AC, the 24 feet. Then we can put BF, this X, over the 6.5, okay? That's corresponding sides are proportional. And the BA we can put as X plus 17 because we know from F to A is 17. So we can add this, so it's X plus 17 over the 24. Then we can put the X over the 6.5, see? Substituting in the values. Now we can do the pro cross products property. 6.5 times x plus 17 is equal to 24 times x. We distribute the 6.5 and we get 6.5x plus 110.5 is equal to 24x. Now we can just subtract 6.5x from both sides and that eliminates it. We get 110.5 is equal to 17.5x. Now we can divide both sides by the coefficient 17.5, and we get that 6.3 is approximately x, or we could say bf, okay? So we know 
to the nearest tenth of a foot that BF is about 6.3 feet, okay? Here's the properties of similarity. The reflexive property of similarity is triangle ABC is similar to triangle ABC. See? It's reflexive. We can write in geometric notation that reflexive property of similarity. The symmetric property of similarity is if triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, then DEF is similar to ABC. See? It's symmetric. This on the outside, this on the inside. We can write symmetric property of similarity for geometric notation in a proof. For the transitive property of similarity, if triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF and triangle DEF is similar to triangle XYZ, well then triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. We can write transitive property of similarity. When using SSS, that side-side-side, and SAS, the side-angle-side similarity theorems, if you have difficulty matching up corresponding sides, you can try matching up small-to-small -small sides, medium-to-medium -medium sides, and large-to-large -large sides, okay? And if you have trouble finding corresponding sides in similar triangles, you can try tracing or copying one to rotate it to the same orientation as the other one. And we can't use AA, SSS, and SAS similarity for other polygons. Triangles are special because they're rigid structures, okay? So what we've been learning is for triangles. Our next lesson is proving the Pythagorean theorem using similar triangles. Then we're going to get into triangle pr proportionality theorem and the rest of 7.4, okay? So now you should be able to write a proof with similar triangles, and now you should understand about similarity, okay? I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.